Hello, whiskey light here. Um, yes, I've got an Alice band in at the moment. I look a bit like Gypsy Rose Lee or something. I just need a crystal ball in front of me. Um, I flippantly said this morning with the angel card, oh, I'll do a video on the third eye chakra opening. Um, little did I know that I could get really deep and heavy with this. Um, I spent a couple of hours actually trying to, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, just trying to eat, sort of look things up and get the scientific explanation and everything for it and um, I've decided now because I could go on for hours I just want to explain uh, some of the symptoms that you might get when your third eye opens what your third eye is there for what it is um, things like that and hopefully you'll relate and I, I think what I want you to do if there's something I've not mentioned as which is one of the um, could be one of the third eye symptoms maybe you've had it and i've not or you've got a question that i've not answered within this video then just put the questions below um comments below um, and i can go through them then and answer them okay so basically your third eye which is also your pineal gland um we have got our brain inside our little head with two sides to it we've got a left lobe and a right lobe and we have a pineal gland which is right about here in the center so if you could go under your brain it goes up it goes from your brain stem at the back into your head and it's sort of in here the pineal gland and it is an actual um, medically it is an eye um, it's an underdeveloped eye uh, in the center of the brain which sort of connects the two halves of the brain together. It's got um, everything that a normal eye would have. And your third eye is about here, which is where you see from. And your pineal gland and your third eye are connected. Third eye is one of your chakras. Um, it's your indigo chakra. We've got seven chakras that start from the base of our spine that run up to the crown of our head which is our crown tra chakra eventually all the chakras awaken um, and join up together and this is called a kundalini awakening each chakra could open they're not all going to open in the same order as somebody else's um, it could take absolutely years and years for each chakra to open and develop um, in a really slow basis well you might not even notice it it just sort of goes along as you, as you grow up as you get older um, and that's the way it goes for other people who have a sudden kundalini awakening the whole bloody lot just decides it's going to wake up and it'll start with mine it started at the base and it just went through every chakra really fast um, a little bit longer on other chakras you know depending on what was going on and each chakra that opens there is different symptoms for each chakra different emotions different um, blocks that need to be cleared different ways of thinking different perceptions and the main um, reason for all of them opening is for you to be able to reach your higher consciousness and connect with a bigger consciousness that you you didn't know you had before the awakening so for somebody who's not awakened it's probably quite oh, what the hell are you talking about it's it's difficult to even imagine what it's like um and for somebody who's going through the process you could be going through feelings emotions etc that you haven't got a clue what's going on um some of it's quite scary some of it's really good and you can get really good feelings as well uh, with it so but I'm going to go through each chakra in a separate video but today I said it this morning so I'm going to do it we're doing the, the third eye so your third eye is called it's your sixth sense it's your sixth chakra it's here uh, and it's shaped like a little pine cone basically behind and when that starts to open it becomes it's a gateway to 
your higher consciousness. It's a way of your angels getting in touch with you. You can see the other side of the veil. You can see alternate dimensions, higher densities of existence. You can see uh, the afterlife, things like that. I haven't yet, by the way. <laughs> I, these, are, this, these are bits that I've read and sort of learned about along the way. But you, you can see, actually I have seen, yeah, I have. You can see different things and everyone will see different things and probably everyone's experience of what they see might be different. But it's also a way for you to be able to see, receive your angel messages um, pick up on the numbers and seeing stuff. When you start seeing your numbers and your messages and everything, your third eye is opening. And when it first starts to open, you may feel a really bad pressure. You'll start to feel pressure in this area. It may fill your whole head. It'll be like having your head in a vice. Some people, I know what I did at the beginning, can suffer from extremely got really really bad uh, headaches almost migraine like headaches where your head is just like stuck in a vice um, all of them opening is a way for you to receive higher vi vibrations and sort of move up and ascend to a different way of looking at things a different perception of things um, it gives you the realization that although we are each each and every one of us is a whole a single person we all belong to a collective universe a collective consciousness and we can receive information through the third eye and if you're part of the collective consciousness once everything's opened up and your crown chakra opens up then you get connected to the universal collective consciousness and we all we'll get the same sort of information down that we need to, to relay to you. And we relay it in whatever way we personally do it, especially, you know, on YouTube or, or whatever. Um, it's, it's also, it's a connection from your physical body to your ethereal body, uh, your soul. Uh, when you see pictures, in, in books or whatever you will imagine your your ethereal body on a silver cord and it can float off during the night while you're fast asleep and do work on the other side and that's exactly what it does um, and when you die your physical body obviously disintegrates goes back into the earth but your ethereal body will go over to the other side and rest until it's time to be reborn and come down again and as I say, your chakras can open at any time. Uh, some people will deliberately decide that they want to open them uh, to lead a more spiritual life. And I don't, I don't particularly endorse anybody deliberately opening their third eye unless you've got a really, really good guru teacher. And I'm talking probably somebody like a who's been doing it for years, a really competent uh, guru. Uh, shaman, Buddhist, monk, <laughs> somebody who is very, very in touch with what goes on. Um, because sometimes when it opens, you can have experiences and see things that you may not want to see. And that is all part of you clearing things and getting things out from your psyche. So, the, the pineal gland, which is in the center of your head, that's the physical manifestation of your third eye. And also with your third eye, that's what you can make. Uh, that is what makes manifestations as well. So once it's open and it's doing its own thing, you feel a lot more balanced. You feel a lot more sort of at one with the universe you view life a lot differently than you did before. Um, material things, things that you may have really, really wanted beforehand uh, are not as important anymore. They hold less meaning. Um, the stuff that you get in life, 
um, holds less meaning for you. And obviously, you have to say we're better <coughs> able to tap into the consciousness, um, get a hold of Akashic Records, which is the records of all time and space. You will um, start to get synchronicities. Um, this is where you also develop um, your psychic abilities, your clairvoyance, your claircognizance, um, healing abilities, empathy, all sorts of, of the gifts that are given um, along with that. You can have premonitions, um, really, really vivid dreams. And as you say, as I said before, you, you manifest them as well, um, which I do on a day-to-day -day basis. Meditation is a really, really good way of developing your third eye. But as I say, I wouldn't deliberately go ahead and open it on your own if it's not open, unless you've got somebody to teach you and be with you to do it. Um, when you have got your third eye open, meditation is a really good way of grounding yourself so that if you're having experiences that you're not sure of or you don't like being grounded, you can handle them an awful lot better than if you weren't. Um, if you start with premonitions and you start hearing voices, seeing things that you know damn well no one else has seen, um, that can be a little disconcerting if you are not grounded. Um, I said before, I said, I said, I haven't seen anything. Then I said, oh, I have, I have actually. I've seen a couple of um, creatures, the sub wildlife on the other side, um, which are, you'll have to look it up because there's hundreds of thousands of them. They have um, different forms of creatures in certain parts over there and there's a sub wildlife thing um, like spiders or insects things like that um, I have the spider thing I have seen I have seen seen the spider um, manifest next to one of the dogs actually um, quite large about this big but it didn't bother me because I knew automatically it was just something that had come over and if you don't pay it any attention it goes away again and because it's a, a sub form of wildlife as well it's only interested in its own survival it ha only has very very basic survival instincts so it has no proper consciousness or anything it's just a, like a thought form um, so I have seen something like that and I've also seen like a little um, it looked like a little gizmo, <laughs> a little gremlin um, on top of my, my washing one evening. And again, I'm, I mean, I'm coming out with the, the more extreme things that you could see. Um, and I'm coming out with them because they were just as surprising to me as, uh, as they would be if you probably saw them. Um, but as long as you don't pay them any attention, they don't do anything. They can't physically hurt you. They can't do anything at all. They're just there, and if you don't pay them any attention, they go away very quickly. So this is why I say it's not a good idea to just go ahead and think, oh, this is great, I'm going to open my third eye and I'm going to be connected to the, the universe, And because there is stuff there that, especially if you've got stuff to clear and emotional stuff to clear and blockages um, to clear, which is part of the awakening, which you have to go through in order to cleanse yourself, in order to have the messages come through clearer <clears throat> there is going to be stuff at certain times that comes up and you think oh my god that's not good um but then there's other feelings of unconditional love complete bliss um and just this awesomeness complete awesomeness sometimes of wow wow this is so much more interesting <laughs> than before the, before I had the awakening. Um, so, also, 
Right, let me go through the actual... Um, yeah, but meditation keeps you grounded while you're going through all this. I'm trying to think of everything that I need to get into this video. Um, so let me... I've got my notes written down here. Um, some of the things that you might actually feel or go through. Um, we are being ascended. There is this huge awakening all over the world. Um, and our third eye, we used to use it regularly thousands and thousands of years ago, but the way mankind has developed, it's basically gone to sleep again. So we're now going through another, now we're in this golden age and this age of Aquarius. We're now, a lot of people are waking up. A lot of people woke up years ago and we're all going through it at different times and, and in a different, slightly different way. As a light worker, as a light body, we are being rewired our brain's being re rewired, our DNA is changing inside our bodies um, because they're transmitters um, of this energy that comes down, this information-filled energy. So the more your body is clear of the lower vibrational energies, things like fear, pain, anger, which block any absorption of the light, uh, the lighter, higher frequency energies, the more your body can open up and allow the higher frequencies to come in um, and bring this light through into your body. Um, so, I've got a load of notes written down here. <coughs> yeah, the... The body and the, bra the brain are actually being rewired through a Kundalini awakening um, to higher dimensional DNA strands. Apparently we have 12 DNA strands, two of which are physical and still intact today, and we've got other strands which are light-based, which are multidimensional, and they're being brought back in um, and reassembled. This sort of thing you're going to have to look up because this is where I don't want to go too deep with this and start getting everybody confused but it, it does get very confusing but all of all of this is happening basically so we can be at one with um, part of the universal consciousness and change the universe change the way people think change bring peace to the world bring happiness to the world. I've said before, we weren't made to suffer. We're not supposed to be here to suffer. We're supposed to be happy to keep the vibrations up, to keep the world going. And if enough of us wake up, we can have a profound effect on the rest of the world. We can stop wars. There won't be any wars because nobody will want to fight. We can get rid of poverty. We can get rid of disease. We can get rid of all sorts of things um, by all of us collectively be in this higher consciousness. So that is the good, that is the reason why this is happening to so many of us. So, <coughs> ascension symptoms, as we're calling it, um, you can get a ringing in your ears, you can get you can hear voices talking, but it's like mumbling. You don't actually know what they're saying, but you'll hear it. You could be sat or doing whatever during the day or in the evening, you will get popping sounds, cracking sounds, tearing of paper sounds, um, creaking sounds, um, the odd growling sound occasionally, all sorts of, of different noises. Um, very high-pitched sort of whining sounds that will give you a headache eventually. Um, and, it, and all of these things that you hear, it, are your chakras clearing out um, and getting used to the higher vibration and the increase in vibrations. Most of these 
will stop eventually and you will not notice them as much as time goes on. Um, but the beginning, it, it's something that you need to get used to. There's also, as I said this morning, um, my eyes, there is a change in vision. I had to go and get new glasses a couple of months ago. My long range vision has improved greatly. My short range vision is just rubbish. Um, I can get blurry vision, burning. My eyes can burn like crazy um, as my third eye is expanding. You can get, when you actually close your eyes and you sort of concentrate on your third eye in the center, you can feel it. It's almost like you can feel it moving beneath your skin. Um, your eyes will twitch stupidly, even when you're out shopping, <laughs> so you look a bit strange. Um, and these are all involuntary movements um, as things are being rewired uh, within your head and your body that you can't really do much about. You just have to cope with them um, and get on with them and know that they don't last forever. You can get um, rashes. You can feel tired all the time or it can go the opposite way and you can be just full of energy and still up at three o'clock in the morning. You will have a change in sleep patterns as well. You could go to bed and you're fine and where you used to have a really good night's sleep and sleep all night, you will wake up at three o'clock in the morning full of beans. Um, you may sometimes feel that you don't need as much sleep as you used to. And there's other times when you just want to feel like you, you want to sleep for a week because you're so exhausted. And it will alternate as your body's changing and depending on what part of which chakra is, is being worked on. Um, your senses become very, very acute. Um, your sense of smell can increase hugely. Um, your sense of touch can increase hugely. You can, the, the pressure in your head when things are moving about can be quite disconcerting as well. I said about rashes, you can get boils, you can get oh, dry skin, all sorts of things. I recommend that you take um, vitamins while all this is going on. You can get fluctuations in weight. You can feel like you're not hungry a lot of the time you don't want to eat um, and at other times you feel ravenous and you can also get the feeling of being really full up and hungry at the same time which is a really that's a really strange feeling um, it's like your body doesn't quite know where to put itself sometimes you will have aches and pains um, when it's specifically your third eye uh, you, your eyes can look very watery and I mind do sometimes, they can get sore. When you close your eyes, and at night as well in the dark, you don't have to close them, you will start to see um, sparkles, um, like glitter in the air. You will see shadows out the corner of your, of your eye, which you, your angels, your guides around you. You can never see, I don't see them directly, but I know they're there and I can see them out the corner of my eye. There is also, you will see shapes, colours will be, when your eyes aren't watery and blurry, when that clears, because it does it intermittently with me, I can have the colours around me, the colour of the furniture, wherever I am, it's all brighter and, and much more vivid, the colours are much more, more vivid. Um, and so you can hear voices, buzzing, electric, electric noises, beeps, tones, <laughs> all sorts of things um, as your third eye is opening and you are not to, just don't worry and don't panic, it's all perfectly normal. You'll also find um, your sense of taste will change as you're being rewired up. Foods that you always used to like, you will suddenly hate immediately. When I started changing over to a vegetarian diet, it's because suddenly I just couldn't, 
the things that the meat that I used to love, I just suddenly I put it in my mouth and I couldn't eat it at all. Um, so your, your sense of taste and, it, and it's making your body healthier it's making you a lot more healthier it's it's making you into a healthier more rounded more balanced person at the end of the day your intelligence actually i'm not very <laughs> i don't look very intelligent at the moment because i get tongue-tied sometimes but your intelligence um is higher you seem to have an all-round um higher intelligence and yet, saying that, if you ask me what I had for tea last night, I can't remember. Um, Short-term memory is terrible, absolutely terrible. And because I don't um, concentrate on the past anymore, because I understand that there is no... The time dimensions out there are completely different to the way that we see time. So past, present and future to me is all the same. Um, it's not linear anymore. It can exist all at once. So all I concentrate on doing and what everyone should do is just concentrate on being perfect and happy in the moment without thinking about the past. Because remember, once your third eye opens, you can manifest stuff. So if you're thinking a lot about the past, um, then you can start manifesting things from the past. Um, sounds will be amplified. Hearing is amplified. Sometimes it gets muffled. You can't stand to be around crowds of people. It's too much for you. You will actually get to like your own solitude sometimes um, because then you can get a little bit of inner peace. Um, people that are not awake you come to a point where you you start to move away from them because you're just not on the same vibrational level that you were with them before and suddenly not only do they not understand you but you have you do not understand them at all either and you don't understand where they're coming from and you don't um your views of your views and perception of the world has changed so much that you're just not compatible anymore um, you can taste you will be able to start to taste uh, additives in food chemicals in food and so you'll just stop stop eating them um, your electrical the electrics inside your body can become very strong sometimes you can blow light bulbs uh, I can't wear a watch at all um, because it won't work on me because of the um, energy within my body. I've been on Skype before and I can't stay on Skype for very long because it will break down, it won't work. Um, and that again is, is a high vibrational energy that's interfering with um, electrical things and frequencies. What else? I'm trying to think of more. You can feel things around you sometimes. You might get the sensation of being touched. Um, you'll have a problem organising things sometimes um, because your left brain, once you've switched over and once your eyes opened, you don't use your left brain as much as you used to. So your left brain is used for the logic and the maths and problem solving. It doesn't get used um, as much analysis it's used for. So you will get memory lapses. Um, you'll get words mixed up. You'll have an inability to focus sometimes, um, but other times you won't be able to get enough information inside you fast enough. I know if I go off, and start analysing something, I, I can do it for days. Um, but I do it in a way that I know, I know that whatever I'm learning is to come back to you and whatever I'm learning will lead me on to something else. And it will always lead me on to maybe a question I'm asking the universe about something and it will 
It will always come up and always lead me to the answers that I need to find. There's times when you can feel a bit spaced out, you can be completely scatty at times. Um, arguments with people, you can't really have arguments anymore because it's just too much. You just feel completely overwhelmed um, by words and arguments, talking, um, big, lots of information. Um, right at the beginning when it's all going on and it's all a bit much you can get impatient uh, you can get easily irritated um, and you can become a little bit intolerant right at the beginning as well of, of other people's situations there's so many things that your third eye changes when you start to wake up and it's all just a case of um, getting used to the changes, getting used to um, the new way of seeing things, the new way of looking at things. It's not, if it's woken up very suddenly, it can be shocking when you don't know what's going on. If it's happening, you know, say you've been a psychic for quite a few years, it's something that you've gotten used to um, and you're okay with it. It's it's just part of everyday life. It becomes the new normal for you. So I'm trying to think if there's anything else that sinus issues as well. When you're ascending, when you're going through the different vibrations as you move up, you can get flu-like symptoms. So you can get sore throats, knotty nose. Um, but you haven't actually got flu, you haven't really got a cold and it can be, it can come on and go within 24 hours um, as you're moving up the higher vibrations. Every time when your chakras opens, you will ascend um, once you've got through the issues that you need to with them. Itchy eyes, um, itchy head, scalp um, as your crown chakra is going on with itself as well, especially um, when your crown chakra opens and then your pineal gland and your third eye sort of connect together as well because they need to, they have to connect for you to get the inner sight that you need yeah you can get uh crawling sensations under your skin uh like ants are walking over you you can itch um like you've not washed your hair or something for a while the pressures on on your head and inside your head um, and the noises that go with it are oh, there's lots of there's so many different symptoms and most of you as you're going through will have a lot of these symptoms and there might be other symptoms that I've not had that you may have had which is why I say put it put it down below um, put it in the comments and if there's anything further you want to ask about your third eye um, because I could go on for hours about it. I just wanted to get through the main symptoms of what's happening and what your feelings are when you when you go through it. Um, you can get dizzy sometimes as well. Um, and you can get a feeling of being bigger than you are or smaller than you are. There's like a misperception of size as well so there's so many things you can get a buzzing which will go throughout your whole body and you feel really energized and you run around like a loon doing all sorts of jobs um you can get urges to jump in the car and just drive to places um as universe is, is telling you got to go here or you've got to go there and you don't know why you just sort of go with it or i used to i don't it doesn't happen anymore now that it's it's open but when it first opened i had no idea what these urges were that were coming through uh, that were surfacing um it was just feelings of i it was almost like running away from myself but i didn't realize i was running away from myself because i just didn't understand what the feelings were at first it's uh, fight or flight um the best thing to do though as you go through is is just go with the flow don't try and fight the feelings if you've got to cry cry because you know that it's stuff that needs to come up 
um, stay positive throughout the whole experience, even when your eyes are itching and burning and you want to scratch your head off. Um, just know that it's for your highest good. It's changes in your body, changes in your brain. As you are connecting more and more and becoming more and more cleansed, and it happens to everybody as they're going through the awakening process. So, sweats as well. That'll be another chakra, but you can, you can your whole body can feel absolutely freezing when it's warm outside, and the opposite um, as well. You can be so blooming hot and sweat buckets during the night. You know, it's cold outside. There's no reason for that to happen. Everything is just bodily changes as everything starts to line up, as everything starts to work differently. And it's your body getting used to the new way uh, of working. So always uh, meditate as much as you can. Even if it's just five minutes, just breathing exercises. Um, I will do a proper meditation. I think, um, and it also, when you do meditations, it does help to ground you, it does help you to feel more in control of what's going on, it helps you to feel calmer, more peaceful, and you just know that this is what's happening, and you get on with it, and you can, I mean, some of the stuff I've come out with sounds bloody awful, um, and maybe right at the beginning when I didn't know what was going on, then yes it is. But once you get used to it, it's annoying and it's a bit painful sometimes, but you still, you just get on with it and you just know that they will disappear soon. And as I said, if you think there is something seriously wrong with you, then go to the doctors. Um, but most of the time, doctors, surgeons, hospitals, they have no medical knowledge of what is happening to you. If you lived in India, or we lived out in China, um, and we were having these symptoms, you know, we could pop off to the nearest uh, Buddha, Buddhist, guru, um, shaman, and they would know exactly what's going on, um, and they'd be able to help straight away. But unfortunately, in the Western world, they don't understand uh, particularly things like this. I mean, if you could go to the doctor with these symptoms and they could say, it's all right, don't panic, you're having a Kundalini awakening. Here is a CD with a meditation on it to help ground you. Go and look at these websites. Here's some other information for you to help you get through it. How good would that be? <laughs> that would be amazing if that could happen. And I wish a lot more doctors could because <clears throat> there's a lot of it's a lot of uh, hospitals filled up with people that are going through an awakening process that don't even know they're going through it. The doctors just think they've gone nuts. Um, a lot of the symptoms that you have during a, an awakening are very similar to schizophrenia, bipolar, um, ADHD, post-traumatic stress disorder, all sorts of, of things that are men more, you know, sort of mental, dis mental um, illnesses but they would rather pump you up with drugs and stick you in a hospital than actually become more aware. Everything has to have a scientific answer to it. Everything has to have a complete medical answer to it. And if they don't understand it and they don't get it, then it's not real to them. When we all know very well for the ones who are going through the awakening and who are already awakening, then it's it's perfectly normal. It is perfectly normal and we need to get through it. So hopefully this has helped. Um, and any questions or anything, just bung them down below. Um, and I, st I started all this this morning, didn't I? Because one of my subscribers said she had ringing in her ears and the muffled voices. So this is what's happening to you. Um, it's your third eye opening, your pineal gland joining up with your third eye. Um, pituitary gland as well has a lot to do with it. That could be activating as well. They all join up together. And um, it all makes for 
the most amazing, awesome, different view. The reality that you knew before the awakening is no longer there. Everything that you thought you believed in, everything that you thought you knew before the awakening completely changes after the awakening, after your chakras open up and you're more connected. Every, every, every bit of you is pretty much stripped down to nothing. All the conditioning, all the layers of crap that have gone on over the years that have been taught to you by your parents, by school, by government, everything is broken. Um, you know, your relationships, beliefs, everything is, is broken down and stripped away until you're pretty much back to the way you were before all of this. Um, probably when you were a kid. So everything changes um, an awful lot and it is a lot about getting used to the new you. But you start to become the best you that you can be when your chakras are opening, once your chakras are opened and you've got a different perception of the world because you don't look at things the same way as everybody else anymore. You do look at things with peace and love and harmony and unconditional love for everybody. And that's the way, and I wish and hope that everybody can go through it to feel at the end of it that way. And that is why this is happening in the world today. So, right. Namaste. That turned into an incredibly long um, explanation of everything, but hopefully uh, you've got an, a better understanding um, of what goes on uh, when your third eye starts to open. There's loads of information out on the internet um, if you want to study it, if you want to question it more. Um, and as I say, I'll answer any questions um, that you want to ask. Uh, maybe about stuff that you're going through, about um, stuff that you haven't understood, about, you know, something I may not have mentioned. And if you've got any other third eye, um, pineal gland symptoms that I've not mentioned, um, then please bung them, to bung them below in the comments because they're going to help everybody that reads them. You know, we need this information and we need the information putting it out to as many people as possible to help. Um, so any extra information that I've not mentioned that you think is valid, then please put it below. Um, I welcome it. So, right, namaste. I will speak to you soon.